Hi, Bruce from Safari, and one of the common questions we're asked is how long can I live off grid uh, without uh, using any site power? Um, also, how long can I run the aircon for? So we have a customer here that uh, is reporting uh, into the cloud here every minute. It's going into the Victron Remote Management, and the date period I've selected here is the last 10 days, 27th of December through to uh, today, through to uh, this morning. And uh, what we can see in that period of time is zero power from the grid, which is what we're looking at here. And the amount of power consumed is 38 kilowatt hours. So in 10 days, that's roughly 3.8 kilowatt hours a day uh, that's, uh, that's been taken. And you can see here in this graph, the summary of per day. So let's have a look, that's a particularly big day. On that day, the solar consumption was, um, oh, the solar production was 5.7 kilowatt hours and the and the uh, consumption was 5.38 so it produced more solar that day than was consumed but let's have a look at a day that's the reverse uh, this day the solar wasn't very good 2.54 and uh, still consumed 5.29 now the weather during this period of time was uh, hovering around 30 during the day quite muggy quite overcast uh, here's a snapshot just showing you the weather around Toowoomba and uh, so the solar yield wasn't particularly high. So um, how did he actually do it? And the way that he did it is we just go into our advanced settings here. Uh, we can see some uh, history here. Uh, this is the portable solar. So there was a couple of days where he put the portable solar out, this day and that day. Uh, the rest of the time, the solar's coming off the roof that you can see here. You can see here what the yield was. And uh, the distance between the, this curve here is the hours of uh, solar during the day. So this day I'm looking at here, the solar was still producing at five o'clock in the afternoon, and it started in the morning at about 5.47. So it had a pretty long day, and that's one of the things we get at Safari. We set up our solar to produce very early in the morning with a high PV, and uh, you can see here that the PV uh, coming off his roof here is 68 volts, uh, pretty consistently around that 73 and that allows it to produce very early in the morning. Uh, when the sun's of low intensity, you see you still have the same voltage up here, but the current being produced on the solar is much lower, and so that's a much lower yield overcast day. There's the battery state of charge, so it went down as low as, uh, with that 51, this looks a bit lower, 43%, which is no issue at all. You can take this down to 20% quite comfortably. Uh, we can see here the battery voltage and current, if we scroll down here, what we see is we're running Scotty in this, and this is showing the uh, voltage and current uh, when it's running, but let's just uh, recap a bit. There's the input voltage there. There's no actual AC in during this period of time. There's the output power, and these peaks here is when he's running the aircon and the amount of power going out. But this actually shows you, this DC system here shows you the idle power, typically about a kilowatt. You can see down here, there's minus 1,000 is power going in. If it's positive, it's power going out. So you can see that he just idled it, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, maybe nine times there uh, in the 10 days, and not for very long at all. I think they tip, these are typically like 30 minutes max. Um, let's have a look at the battery temperature during this period of time. And we can see here that the max temperature of the batteries was uh, 36 degrees. Now we chose these batteries because they're good for 55. This is all reporting on the CAN bus, these got CAN bus batteries. And so you can see here quite a good result given the uh, weather conditions. Now these are in a locker on the side. Um, we do have a fan that, uh, that cools them once they get over temperature, uh, but quite a good result. And look at our dashboard, look at our average again. So during that period of time, uh, and let's have a look at the summary down here that you can see. So you, during that period of time, there were days where the battery went right up to 98%. So that shows you the uh, min max. And, uh, but there were also days where it was a lot lower. And to fill in on the days that was lower, um, he idled his engine. Uh, he can get as much as two kilowatt um, out of Scotty uh, when he's driving, but when he's idling, it typically runs around a kilowatt, 1.2 kilowatts. Uh, when he's idling, but that 1.2 kilowatts is enough to uh, uh, save the day, if you wish, and mean that he can stay totally off grid and uh, take absolutely no power at all. Uh, just a fantastic result. How good is that?